Thank you. That was so unexpected. God, I hope I can live up to half of that. Thank you. Give it up for Brian. Give him a big round of applause. I, I truly believe one of the best transgender comedians in the business today. And I've never felt so woke. Brian is not only the announcer, he's the, the maitre d' here, and he's also hosting the show. This guy is like a jack-off of all trades. <laughs> Brian, by the way, uh, now I know why they canceled Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Thank you all for being here tonight, because I know you have a lot of choices in the area. Thank God the Shell Station closes at 7. I love coming up to Carson City because I don't have a life. Thank you all. Tanya, good to see you. Good to see you. Chris, how are you doing? You're looking great. You're doing something different with your hair? You're putting in more, huh? You curled it tonight. Can you stand up and let the folks see how you curled that? Yeah, come on, you little asshole. Go ahead. I don't see any curls here. You're testing my eyesight, aren't you? <laughs> Let's hear it for all the comedians on the wall that have never even heard of the Carson Comedy Nugget <laughs> Comedy Club. I don't think Robin Williams is going to be here. <laughs> I, I say that because I worked with Robin at the Mill Valley at the Throckmorton, and what a great guy. What a, a nice guy. Sad, but this is what life is. How you doing, sir? Cam, good to see you. This is Cam, who's also part of the... Uh, the exciting Casino Boss series. Stand up, Cam. Give him a big round of applause. Yeah, there he is. He uh, plays Corky on the show. Life goes on. Thank you. And he also, we did another project that didn't go anywhere. So we've been doing a lot of things together. I can't wait till we get that next one in the can. And then they put it in the back room along with the other photos of comics who actually worked here. I actually came here last night, and this is a true story. I went next door to the green room, and I'm sitting there going, what the fuck, where's the show? Because it used to be over there, and now they moved it here, and next week it's going to be at the blackjack table because we're going to advertise Brian Lee. Hit me. <laughs> I stayed within the theme. And you put your hair up like that. That's very exciting. Is there a reason? Did you not wash it? <laughs> no, women have those tricks. You know that. What is your name, sir? Tommy. Tommy, nice to meet you. I saw you walking around the casino. Thanks for coming out to the show, Tommy. How old are you, Tommy? 45. Yeah, probably time to go by Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> probably won't be getting a pony for your birthday, Tommy. It's Tony, it doesn't matter. We're not going to hang out. <laughs> Don't give me attitude, Anthony, okay? <laughs> I have a brother named Tony, but it's Anthony, isn't it? Do you ever figure out how they came up with the nickname Tony out of fucking Anthony? I'm Robert, and I'm Bob. Think about it. Actually, Bob Zaney's not my real name. My real name is Big Dick McGee. <laughs> oh, you got to love a mom that names you Big Dick. That's... A, wom a woman with a vision <laughs> problem. <laughs> Tony, what do you do for a living? Oh, how many units do you ever see? <laughs> then, well, why did you laugh when I asked that? Qu wasn't that a proper question? Is it, did, you didn't think I'd understand what you actually did? <laughs> well, great talking with you, Tony. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea why you're alone. Oh, just laugh. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Don't get sensitive on me, okay? I don't need this shit. I went to high school. <laughs> and I'll play that card if I have to, Cam. And and uh, is it here in Carson? No, Davis. Oh, Davis, California. I, I've actually, I don't think I've actually been to David. I've been all over. I was born and raised in uh, L.A., and I left two years ago, and I now live in Las Vegas. I had no idea the hatred you had for Californians. 
You know when I decided to leave L.A. because the crime was getting so bad? Tony, check this out. We had to get a new security system. What we did is we played Fox News 24-7, so everybody thought we had a gun. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. The neighbors watch MSNBC. They got robbed four times. Come on, just laugh. There's a, re there's a reason you guys are behind the green line, okay? <laughs> One day, if you save up, you can move up here. Cam's in casino, boss. It's a, they play it over the bar fucking constantly. On over, it's just, I couldn't even sit through that shit. And we filmed it together. We actually had a couple scenes together, and I kept telling Dean, uh, I said, no. Anyway, uh, I don't want to work with this bastard. He's actually good. What's your name, sir? Jose or Josue? Josue. Oh, that's beautiful. Josue. My name is Bob. Bob, Roberto, por favor. Jose, nice to meet you. Uh, I like asking people their names. There's a woman in the show. You were here that night. Remember this? I said, what's your name? She said, Chantel. I said, no, please do. <laughs> there was another guy. His name was, was Corey. I said, hey, Corey. He said, yeah, but with a K. I said, I'm sorry. I pronounced it with a C. I was in Loves Park, Illinois, and the mayor of Loves Park is actually in the audience. And I said, what's your name? He said, Mayor Jury. I said, hey, when you have sex with your wife, does she call it jury duty? <laughs> he said, yeah, because she's always trying to get out of it. And then I met a guy named Austin. He said he was named Austin because that was the city his parents conceived him in. And my uncle did something similar. You should meet my cousins, truck stop, Ferris wheel, and prison. <laughs> now, Ferris wheel suffers from vertigo. <laughs> you know what's going to happen later on? You're going to Google a lot of the phrases and, and words I used and go, wow, he was good. <laughs> And what do you do for a living? Uh, I'll get back to you. <laughs> you got to learn the cover story before you go into the program, okay? <laughs> learn the fucking cover story. <laughs> do you like your job? It's okay. So that's why you, you yeah, good for you. You know, what's your dream? Tell me your dream. Because I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. Do you know that? Fif I was on the Gong Show in 1977 with Chuck Barris. <laughs> First time I ever performed. And rewarded for that performance, I was pulled off stage by a man dressed like a nun with a big net. So you fuckers can't hurt me. <laughs> What's the dream? What, do you, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to do a lot of property. A lot of property? For, uh, oh, for dogs? Oh, good for you. And my wife and I were big pet people. We didn't have kids. We rescue animals. And the reason we didn't have kids, and I'll tell you why, because the dysfunction ends with us. <laughs> we have no one. We don't ha I don't have to explain to my young son, well, Grandpa likes putting peanut butter on his penis. <laughs> and then he's going to take the dog for a walk. <laughs> don't have to explain that to anyone. <laughs> so you're in the rescue animals is what you're doing. Yeah, we have many dogs and cats over the years. Don't ever get two different animals at the same time. Made a horrible mistake. Got a greyhound dog and a rabbit. Oh. <laughs> Haven't seen either one of them ever since. <laughs> Let's go ahead and Google that. <laughs> What's your name, sir, behind the green cake? Rob. Rob, nice to meet you. Hey, Robert, your given name? Oh, good. You're young to be retired. Good for you. What from? Uh, game warden. You were a game warden? So they're all dead now? They are. <laughs> we don't need you anymore, Rob. There's, we haven't seen an animal in years. Boy, you did a horrible job, Rob. You were supposed to protect these people. You know, I was in Jackpot, Nevada, and there's a sign up that says, Report Wildlife Crime. So I turned in a hooker who overcharged me. 
two, three, four. I got a lot of them. I'll keep doing them until someone. And is that your lovely wife? Does she share your love for animals? Wait, what's your name, ma'am? Marion. Marion. Hey, nice to meet you. And uh, do you guys have pets? No. Oh, you don't have pets yet? You want a lot of fucking land for these dogs? <laughs> get the dogs. That'll inspire you to get the land. <laughs> Let's ask the game warden. What do you think on that? Baby steps, yeah. <laughs> and uh, why did you retire so young? Are you young or do you just look, look great? I'm looking great? How old are you, Rob? I'm not okay. Do you think that's going to stop me? <laughs> I'll come out there. I don't give a shit. <laughs> that tape protects me from the COVID. <laughs> By the way, I got two home test kits of COVID. We'll start the bidding at $100. Do right I hear $100? $200. You'll, get, you'll take it? Will you go into Europe? Now, this, was the, this is the best thing about COVID right here. It's this right here. This is the face mask. It protects you from the COVID. Because as you know, COVID can't go like that. It fucking comes straight at you. You think I'm kidding? Look, the Omicron variant. <laughs> it stopped the. It stopped it. it and <laughs> you, you know what the best part about this is? It says face shield. Who's mistaking this for a thong? <laughs> Some new shit there, huh, Cam? A lot of new shit tonight. Yeah, I, I have a lot of time on my hands. I, uh, I'm going to give away to the best audience member tonight a Brooks and Dunn CD. <laughs> so we have any Brooks and Dunn's fans? No? Are you a fan, ma'am? Yeah. You are? Okay, well, if you can name one of the songs on this, I'm going to put my reading glasses on. By the way, I got these at the Dollar Tree. And I'll tell you why. I spent $200 on a pair of reading glasses. I lost them the next day, and I went, fuck! <laughs> I lose these, I go, oh. So this, this one's entitled, this C CD's entitled Waiting on Sundown to help you out there. So what's one of the songs you think that's on here? Neon Moon. Yep. Next. You're not really a fan, are you? You thought this was a sweet So I get jealous of guys with great hair because I'm not one of these guys losing their hair and then to compensate, they got hair growing everywhere else in their body. I'm not that way. In fact, I have a receding pubic line. <laughs> Annie, I got a little Hitler mustache right about there. I guess you could call it a dictator. A 
I felt like the sign language interpreter, every time President Biden speaks, he'll say something and they'll go. <laughs> and Ann, is that your husband right there? Yeah. What's your name, sir? Uh, they call me Guillermo. That's California for William. Okay, Guillermo? Is that, is that, is that, Cal is that uh, Espanol for William? Yeah. Guillermo? That's much prettier. William, it sounds bad. <laughs> and you're about to put your mask on? Oh, this mask is as useless as Joe Biden. Oh. Good for you. Let's go, Brandon. Look, let me say this. Guillermo, uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a retired choir conductor. You're a retired choir conductor. Do you miss it? I mean, do you ever get like kids in the neighborhood? Come on, let's sing a song. Huh? All the dogs start Halloween? Yeah. Well, I know some properties. You, do you have that property <laughs> where you can get the choir dogs over there? <laughs> was it at a school, like a high school, college? Uh, no. Uh, it was just you in a garage, wasn't it? <laughs> and then there was the incident. <laughs> and then you had to retire. I get it. Okay. <laughs> just really awesome. Obviously, this isn't part of the Carson Rewards Nugget card thing. <laughs> What's your favorite song to conduct as a choir uh, guy for, for all the... Is it like they're a difficult song that it's, they don't always get? The old hymns, yeah. Like in your dress when you wear it at night? <laughs> Only in the dark. Yeah, because you don't want her to know. That's none of her fucking business, you know that? And that's why they call you Guillermo. <laughs> wow. This is just scary shit. Are you okay, sir? What's your name right there? I'm Matt. I'm very well. You're Matt? Are you having a good time, Matt? Yep. 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 Can you show it? This ain't helping, Matt. Mm. Yermo. I'm just teasing. That's my insecurity talking, Matt. I'm sorry. I learned that through therapy. Do you laugh inside? Yeah. Can you move to the back? Maybe where they're going to put Jeannie next time. I did that one for you, Brian. You're doing a great job. You getting a count on the tickets? Because you should have been done like 20 minutes ago. It's not like we're sold out. What do you do for a living, Matt? Oh, crypto trading, very exciting. Bitcoin, and what's the other one? Well, there's, a there's, a, there's a whole bunch of them, yeah. And, and a lot of people aren't sure of what crypto or coin is, but it's like e-money, e right? Well, and how, who backs it? Who backs it so it's actually? Well, it depends on the project. Yeah, so you just make shit up. <laughs> We're all looking to invest. It's called a Ponzi scheme. Okay? You got your, you got your fucking money back now. You don't care. It's all a Ponzi scheme. It's like Social Security. <laughs> They're running out of people at the bottom, so they fucking, you know. And it, Rob, is that the beautiful wife right there? What's your name, ma'am? Kim, you're very pretty. Has anyone ever told you that? Not lately? I, I guess I'm, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> Uh, well, Rob, that I think was slighted towards you, but he's retired now, so maybe you'll have more time to like focus in on you. <laughs> maybe if you ever tried to uh, smell gamey. <laughs> <laughs> maybe put a deer scent on you of some sort, <laughs> some urine on your ass or something. And... <laughs> Is this too much for both of you? You seem. You seem like two really nice people, and it, I've crossed a lot of lines, haven't I? No, I haven't. Not in the big picture. Not in the big fucking picture. Right, Guillermo? You know what I'm talking about. I love that vest with the T-shirt. What a look. Anyway, 
Now, Tony, are you uh, here at the casino all by yourself, or do you have a, uh, somebody out there that they don't want to come to the show? Oh, they're, oh, okay. Now I'm the prick. <laughs> now I'm making fun of the guy visiting his six parents. Are they, uh, are they older folks? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough as they get older. It's tough for all of us. I, you know, I'm actually, uh, I'm 60, but luckily I look 75. <laughs> but my internet age is 15. What? No, that's how long I've had email. You people are sick, you know that? <laughs> now, Kim, is that your BFF next year? Well, then, I know you are. You probably like her more now than the son, huh? <laughs> no, that's how that works. I, I'm married. My, my mother, I have two mother-in-laws. I have a stepmother-in-law and a regular mother-in-law, and they both love me more than the daughter because they didn't have to live with that shit. Do you have other kids? You do? Is he the favorite, though? Oh, that's nice. See, I have two brothers and a sister, and oh, my mom had a miscarriage, or she refers to it, the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just laugh at that. This is interesting. JetBlue Airlines is asking, as a security question, who is, uh, who is your favorite child? And they think hackers are going to figure it out because any parent would not send their favorite child on JetBlue. <laughs> God, I love that joke. That, have you been on the JetBlue? It's not, it's not pretty. And what is your name, daughter-in-law? Ashley. A Ashley? Ashlyn. Ooh, wow, fuck. <laughs> That's a lot of work right there, huh? And what's your name, sir? Sam. Sam? Did you like the little Dr. Seuss shit he did? Did you say, Sam, I am? <laughs> am I too quick for you people? <laughs> this is it. I don't have a puppet. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting a puppet. It's lonely on the road. <laughs> and Sam, what do you do for a living? Oh, that's tough work, construction. You're up at 4.30 in the morning, donuts and coffee till 8. <laughs> Head out to the job site, bitch and complain till 11, go to lunch. Come back about 1, count the plywood. Gone about 1.15, right, Sam? Because I've had a little construction done at my home. You know, I found out about my house is infested with carpenter ants, and to make matters worse, they're union. <laughs> you can't get rid of them. You have to find shit for them to do. <laughs> or the fire ants show up. <laughs> I did that joke at, uh, at the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco at a Democratic fundraiser. Fuck, and the room went silent. <laughs> anyway, good for them. And Sam, do you guys live in a house? Did you build it yourself? No, no you probably hired a pro. <laughs> you don't have that shit work you do, huh, Sammy? <laughs> Look at Ashlyn just laughing her ass off. I've, I've been wanting to say it like this for years. <laughs> Tanya and Chris have seen this. Last time I was out for a walk here in Carson City, I found this on the ground. It said, good yard sale. I guess you guys are known for your shitty ones. <laughs> You actually, you understand that thought has to go into this. <laughs> I've never seen a good yard sale sign ever. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, but you live in Reno though, right? You do. Yeah, I'm going to be at the Laugh Factory all next week. Are you yeah, at the Silver Legacy. Yeah, right. yeah, because it's called uh, routing. And then when I'm done here, I'm going to Windover. I was in Jackpot, Nevada. Who's been to Jackpot out of curiosity? Have you been there, Rob? Yes. Yeah, let me paint a picture for the folks who may not have been there. Uh, it, it's a casino town. It's on the edge of Idaho. It's three casinos, general store, post office, trailer park. That's Jackpot, Nevada. So I'm walking through.
to the casino and an older gentleman at the penny slot looked up and said, hey, Bob Dini, what's the joke of the day? I said, you're a winner. Because, <laughs> Tony, I'm a people person. I love people. I truly believe without people, we wouldn't even be here. Are they in the acting uh, field or no? Oh, no, they got a real job? Yeah, yeah. Right. Doing. I mean, how many times can you promote that web series <laughs> that nobody watches? Look, let me say this. What's your name, sir? Dave. Dave, what do you do for a living, sir? I'm semi-retired. Semi-retired? Yeah. I met your supervisor. <laughs> That's why I'm retired. <laughs> yeah, but he just walked away from the choir, and he had to. But you... And game warding, you probably had to. Do you, do you hunt, Rob? A little bit, but legally, right? Very important. So as a game warden, if someone is like hunting during deer season and it's not deer season, that's when you go after them, right? Why is that funny, Annie? You don't like the rules? <laughs> there's rules in the hunting of the deer. We thin the herd so much, so there's more to kill next year. It's called compassion. Very nicely done. Okay, and uh, where, where do you semi-retired uh, from, uh, Dave? Taking money from people who have it. Oh, taking money from people who have it? And giving it mostly to you. And giving it mostly to you? Oh, so you're, yeah. Uh, that's what I was going to say, but go ahead, do your jokes. Because I know they all paid to see your ass. Can you stand up and let the folks see you? You're a good-looking guy. I want you to, could you stand? Lay, uh, turn around and let the folks see you. Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Fester, everybody. Give Uncle Fester. He got rid of the light bulb. But this is the beauty of my show. Soon you won't even need me. I'm here to train you to do it on your own. Is there anybody out there who could just sit with Tony so he looks happy? You have any friends, Tony? Or? Where, are the, where are your friends at? Oh, oh, you live in Sacramento? Yeah, oh, the suburb. You don't actually live in the city proper, the capital proper. Isn't that weird? You came to Sacramento, which is the capital of California, to this capital of Nevada. What, no difference? Actually, there's a big fucking difference. <laughs> I've been to that shithole, Sacramento. God, I feel like Joe Manchin. <laughs> now, what I do is I go to the Goodwill and I buy stuff. You want to see what I got at the Goodwill? Yeah! Yeah! Of, by the way, Tony, I got something for you. It's a participation trophy. <laughs> and for you, second place. <laughs> Aunt B, it's me, Goober. What you wearing, Aunt B? Hey, how's your pie? It's a lost episode. I don't want to forget that. This shit adds up. I, I got a cake pan. It's a beautiful cake pan. I was wondering what happens, though, if you put this in the oven, it gets really hot, and Annie, you forget those potholes, you grab it. Jesus! I'm sorry, Guillermo. Hey, Seuss. Hey, Seuss. The problem with this cake pan, it takes like three days to rise. Look, the point is, come on, I think JC would laugh at that because I don't think he would approve of the cake pan. Get that out of your way because you'll probably steal that fucker. A lot of games at the Goodwill. I love games. Probe. This is a great game. came out 1964. It came out by Parker Brothers. And, of course, I did my due diligence. That's all that's in there. Because games were simpler back then. Probe, yeah. Okay, I lied. This is in there also. 
I'm, th I'm thinking this is for the bonus round. Look at the game warden going, I know what that is. How much? I'll throw it in with a COVID test. How much? Somebody just actually said that. This is nice. It's, I've never played this game, Factor Crap. Has anybody played Factor Crap? So I open it up, and much to my chagrin, inside is the Hillary Clinton biography. <laughs> and here, here's the scary part. Look, a lot of the pages are missing. <laughs> and also, there's a DVD in there, Kill Bill. That one was for Hillary right there. I think, I think Hillary would have laughed at that one. <laughs> I actually did read that Bill Clinton biography. Oh, Cam, have you read that? It's a tough read. I mean, a lot of the pages are stuck together. <laughs> My favorite athlete in the whole wide world, this is Lance Armstrong. This is his performance program book, and it, oh shit. You know how hard I worked on that joke? I built a hole right there in the book. <laughs> Annie, I insert the Tic Tacs. I don't have people for that. <laughs> a lot of DVDs at the Goodwill. Here's one, a Barbie, a fairy secret. Notice Ken's not on the cover. Your baby can read. It's a DVD! <laughs> this is a great one. Day after tomorrow. And this is the weird thing. That's when I plan to watch it. <laughs> Isn't that just a silly joke? That's silly shit right there. A lot of CDs. I know they're becoming obsolete. I still love CDs. I got a lot of them here. Of course, you won that CD. This is a local one from Wisconsin uh, in Wausau. I was there, and I was at a thrift store, the Goodwill, and uh, this guy's name is Don Cox, <laughs> and it's entitled All Over Town. <laughs> I wonder after you re finished recording this, you had to get an STD check. <laughs> Don Cox. <laughs> nothing, nothing on that one. This is a collector's item, it's the Dixie Chicks, because you know they're not the they're Dixie anymore because it was politically incorrect. I just don't have the heart to tell them that Chicks isn't very nice either. <laughs> I think they should just go by the. <laughs> till they find out the is a Shakespearean word and he was a racist. <laughs> so they should just fucking quit now. This is my favorite country uh, superstar. Uh, this is Mel Tillis. In fact, he is the uh, celebrity voice on my GPS. We're going to turn and f f f f f f <laughs> We missed it. <laughs> we missed it. He's a stutterer, Dave. And I apologize, if I offended any stutterers, that was not the intent. So please don't come up to me after the show to complain, because I just don't have the time. <laughs> That's your shit, this is my shit. The two shall never meet. Richard Marks, this one's entitled Repeat Offender, so I'm thinking this is his second CD. This is the best one here. This is Fresno State Marching Bands. <laughs> I wonder why that was at the Goodwill. <laughs> no, that's me on third trombone. Trombone, third. <laughs> Menopause the Musical. <laughs> and I found out a fun fact about Menopause the Musical. Do you know it is a sequel to the musical Ragtime? <laughs> this 
to my favorite rapper in the whole wide world. I'm going to mispronounce his name because I am white, but uh, it is 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 cent. And look what they did. They framed his CD, and then you can't write this price tag, 50 cents. <laughs> Do you think they had to have a big meeting down at the Goodwill? <laughs> well, if we charge 50 cent, we've charged a dollar. It does say 50 cent right there, and we cover that up. They're not going to know it's Curtis Jackson III. <laughs> yeah, Tony, turns out Fitty is a stage name. And he claimed bankruptcy. Did you know that, Cam? And part of the deal he had to make with the bankruptcy court, he now has to change his stage name to Nickelback. <laughs> Some woman last night explained to me how Nickelback got their name. They went to a store and they gave him a Nickelback as change, and that's how they came up with their name. Shit, just imagine if they went to 99 cent only first. <laughs> We'd be listening to Pennywise. VHS tapes. Bill Cosby, 49. I think that's how many accusers there were. <laughs> this is a good one. Kids coping with divorce, and it makes perfect sense. <laughs> it's half. It's half. Half. It's a half Z. Here's a good one right here. This is uh, what women want. It's a blank. <laughs> it's fucking blank. Because guys, we'll never know. Do you understand that? <laughs> Ever. Okay, Rob, go back and save animals. <laughs> I do a little thing on the uh, radio, and, uh, and now it's on Dry Bar Comedy. If you want to check out the Zany Report, I have uh, 10 great episodes there at the Comedy Plus app. It's my take on the news. You want to hear some... Uh, New stories, everybody. We do this just right. Good thing we have all this shit that doesn't work. <laughs> you think I'm fucking kidding? Look, <laughs> this shit wouldn't happen if Kevin Farley was here. <laughs> yes, Mr. Farley. What do you need, Mr. Farley? New study has found one out of five Americans drink too much. The other four are doing the best to catch up. Pessimistic men are likely to die early. I just fucking knew it. <laughs> Cam, that's acting. That was acting there. It was a good. It was believable, right? I mean, we won't do that one. The Las Vegas City Council has outlawed urination and defecation in public. They said it's been their number one and number two priorities. <laughs> Allentown, Pennsylvania, a teacher who taught uh, four-year-olds obscenities has passed away. According to one of her students, I'll fucking miss her. <laughs> According to astronomers, uh, black hair, uh, I, actually black holes appear to have hair. Did you hear about this? Yeah, they're looking at these black holes and it appears that it has hair. This is what happens when the universe doesn't trim Uranus. <laughs> it's a new one. We're going to... I have some news. Good news, bad news, though. Here's the bad news. The body of a Tennessee man who attempted to uh, swim across a lake was found. The good news, uh, he floated to shore on the other side, so he made it. So you got to look at the positive when shit. <laughs> he made it. He made it. I mean, no more good news, bad news. Here's the bad news. A Las Vegas dancer, a dance instructor actually, was arrested for sex crimes with a minor. The good news is the minor was a guy visiting from West Virginia. <laughs> He's an actual minor. The fucking hat. Too much. Richmond, Virginia, police arrested two men who stole eyeglass supplies from a lens crafter store. They denied their involvement and said they were framed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
A South Dakota fire department was able to rescue a man who fell through the ice while fishing. They were able to catch the man using Cheetos as bait. Rob, come on, that was fucking funny, right? That was good. Cheetos is a bait they use. Twenty percent of Americans are dyslexic, or is that eighty percent? Is this shit too sophisticated? In Alabama, a cougar found at a local motel has been euthanized. Officials are warning women over fifty to stay away from this motel. Hayes, Kansas, a 95-year-old woman is officially the oldest person to graduate from college. Her class voted her most likely to die first. <laughs> oh, this is scary news. Uh, COVID-19 can live four days on a toilet seat, beating out Elvis by three. <laughs> Tony, I told that joke. Kansas, I actually got some laughs. <laughs> this is great news. In Israel, you like archaeology, don't you, Cam? You and I have talked about this. Uh, uh, archaeologists have discovered a 2,700-year-old toilet, a toilet that's 2,700 years old. In fact, uh, next to it were several magazines, Pyramid and Stream, <laughs> Stone, Stone Coral Digest, and Hooked on Hieroglyphics in the magazines found next to the toilet. <laughs> you know, some of these I'm just doing for me. So if you want to join in, fine. <laughs> Here's a question of the week. Uh, if Caitlyn Jenner holds a press conference, is it an LGBT Q&A? <laughs> Your husband left on you. You know that, right? He's, he's not behind you anymore. You don't care. <laughs> Actress Kate Beckinsaw says uh, she never wears panties because they make her feel claustrophobic. You know, I never wear panties because I feel like my sister. <laughs> I'm not giving up on that one. <laughs> I'll put this shit over here. But not that one. <laughs> Boise, Idaho. Anybody from Boise? We had some people. Are you from Boise? No, 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 Alabama. Oh, Alabama. I, I've been to Anniston and Muscle Shores. Really? Yeah, that, that was enough. <laughs> had to fly into Birmingham, so I mean, I fucking, I'm, I've seen Alabama. Yeah. Boise, Idaho. The city recorded its hottest day at 106 degrees beating out the uh, last record of 105 degrees set in 1875. Of course, they're blaming the record heat on global warming, and in 1875, they blamed it on summer. <laughs> summer. It was called summer. It was summer. Because it gets hot. New Jersey, a man was convicted on obscenity charges because he was watching porno sitting in his car outside a fast food restaurant. Now, ironically, it was a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> so he might get off on a technicality. <laughs> or he just might get off. I don't know. <laughs> See, I added to that. Yeah, yeah I did three, three and one, yeah. It's all part of the gift, Cam. <laughs> it's official. Brian Williams has retired from NBC News. Aww. Yeah, He said he wanted to spend more time with his family and Chris Cuomo. <laughs> Sesame Street will introduce a new Muppet, and it's Korean. Yeah. And to keep up with the show's political leanings, it's North Korean. And we'll call it Miss Piggy, Dear Leader.
we'll, we'll revisit it. Brian, is everything okay? Oh, that's Chris. You're back. You okay? Do you have to go poo poo? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even know you had left. I mean, you're really good at sneaking around. <laughs> that didn't sound right, did it, Tony? <laughs> Look at Tony sitting right there going, uh, my poor parents. Thank God they don't have to sit through this shit, huh? <laughs> One of the most popular, do we have any uh, veterans here that went to Iraq? Anybody? Because one of the most popular TV shows in Iraq, did you, I don't know if you knew this, it's called uh, Why Are You Afraid Lady? That's the actual name of the show. <laughs> Why Are You Afraid Lady? We have a version of that here, it's called The View. <laughs> and I only do that joke because Joy Behart was mean at me at the Drew Carey roast, so, yeah. Vermont. You're going to love this one, Rob. The Department of Fish and Wildlife is seeking to remove the bald eagle from the endangered species list. Yeah. Eagles with just male pattern baldness will remain. <laughs> That's a good one, right? That's good. Is that, good? Is that okay? You like that one? Yeah. It, here's a question. If you sell yourself for sex on Craigslist, would that be prostitution? Post. Yeah. <laughs> you got some jokes you're going to love coming up. But I got to do some good news, bad news right now. Here's the uh, good news. A Nebraska woman gave birth to a baby girl at the Dixon County Fair. The bad news, she got a fourth place ribbon behind two pigs and a goat. <laughs> the judging is difficult at these fairs. Don't think it's easy. <laughs> In dog news, a dog can make 100 facial expressions, beating out actor Mickey Rourke by 99. <laughs> He's had a lot of work done. <laughs> now, this is an interesting fact about dogs. Uh, they can smell if you have cancer. Did you know that? So the good news is if your dog tells you you have a year to live, it's really seven. It is. I'm going to keep it. I, in cat news, by the way, Tanya, you have a lot of cats, don't you? Yeah. I actually, Tanya came up to me the first time I met her. We were filming a Casino Boss, and uh, she says, I have 15 cats. I said, wow. I said, wow, I have one. She said, what's it called? I said, normal. <laughs> Hollis, New Hampshire, police are on the lookout for someone who abandoned nine kittens on the side of the road. When caught, they'll be charged with littering. <laughs> oh, really? Let's hear your new shit. <laughs> Waynesboro, Virginia, police are on the lookout for someone who's been shaving other people's cats. All they know, they think the suspect's Brazilian. How are we doing on time? How are we doing on time, Brian? We got about five, sir. Five more, and then you're done? Yes. Then you have to come out here and fucking bore them? <laughs> Just kidding, Brian. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. <laughs> he actually books the room, so I, I, I'm not going to be back. <laughs> Fuck. Hamden, Connecticut, a 13-year-old boy woke up and found a skunk in his bed. The smell was so bad, the skunk left. Rob, did you like that one? You must have encountered some skunks in your day, huh? Did they ever spray you? Because I, all I know about the smell and how you get it off, I think there was that Brady Bunch episode at the Grand Canyon where Alice was extra stinky that day. Wow. And you, maybe it's best he doesn't say you're very beautiful. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's got the respect like I do. <laughs> Port Charlotte, Florida. A woman says lightning destroyed her septic tank, causing her toilet to explode. And in a sign of poetic justice, it also hit the ceiling fan. 
Let me tell you something. That's going to be the smartest poop joke you've ever heard. <laughs> That's the kind of class I bring to this room. You know that, right, Brian? <laughs> when you're trying to rebook Kevin Farley, think of me first. <laughs> a sad note. A 70-year-old Kansas City man robbed a bank because he preferred incarceration to to continue to live with his wife. The sad part? He was placed under house arrest. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's that report right there. That's good enough, right? We got, we got through it, right? We got through it. There's a whole list of shit we have to get through in life. After the show, I got some great uh, gift ideas. Of course, this shirt you already heard about. Because uh, my real name is Big Dick McGee. How about that, everybody? That's available in a beautiful blue. This is Tanya's favorite shirt right here. Eat salmon, the other pink meat. Look at that fish. <laughs> Ladies, this makes a great night. A great night shirt and a great reminder to your partner. Did she get you one of those? Yeah, she, got me. she bought that for me and then gave it to you, or did she? Did, and did you get it for me or for someone else? Someone else selling my fucking shirt? <laughs> Guillermo, you're going to love this shirt. Maybe she'll get it for you, too. Uh, this is the best shirt. Wake me if you're horny. Because, <laughs> Guillermo, I guarantee you wear this to bed tonight, you're getting a good night's sleep. <laughs> You like that one, huh, Tony? That's a good one. I was in Fresno. I was at the Tower Theater about two months ago, and I did the shirt, and this woman yelled, I bought it, and it didn't work. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, ma'am. Do you, do you want a refund, or can I fuck you? Because the customer's always right. Huh? You have to understand that. You hear that laughter? Well, I do have to get going because I don't want to be here. <laughs> How selfie? Have you seen selfies? You good? Well, that's probably because it's you. <laughs> I got a picture of Jesus. This is his senior class photo. He was voted most likely to come back. <laughs> Hey, Brian, I told that joke in uh, Anago, Wisconsin, and this guy yelled, you nailed it, and I went, whoa. <laughs> hey, that's a line I wouldn't even cross. <laughs> Thank you, my Catholics out there, the Catholics. Actually, I was just baptized Catholic. That's as far as the parents went with it, you know. But I found out I can get the last rites, but I just can't have the wafers. <laughs> I got this. Uh, now, some guys, uh, guys don't know what this is, but some gals actually do. Uh, this is a Kegel. Andy, do you know what this is? What you do is you do that, and it strengthens the vagina. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Tony, did you know that? Well, you did? <laughs> Just while you're alone? <laughs> Aunt B, it's me, Goober. What, what you wearing tonight, Aunt B? <laughs> do, do you have the other comics go to the extra mile like I do during the show like this? <laughs> Brian, come out here for a second. Come out here because you're a good guy and people like you. Give Brian another big round of applause. <laughs> Brian, come here. <laughs>
Brian, how, how old are you? I am 51. Wow, probably time to tuck in the shirt. <laughs> no, you're doing a great job here. Appreciate you helping keep comedy going here at the seven years in a row. Seven. Best comedy club in the fucking, yeah. 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 That's amazing shit how you do it. I don't know. <laughs> you know, Cactus Jacks across the street has actually got a, a show now. Then they'll just move the sign from the wall, the building and move it over there, right? <laughs> I bet Dean didn't ask his permission on that one. No, no. Okay, you guys are great. And uh, any questions? Because I've asked you all a lot of questions. It's only fair you ask me anything you want. So go right ahead. I read a lot. Huh? Uh, I I work there. I was just there last week, but that's not why I moved there. Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah, 58 years of my life, I, I lived in L.A. and Cal West Covina, California, all that place, the valley. Fucking valley's the best. <laughs> Next question. I thought I did tonight. Didn't I do bay bay? I didn't, I didn't hear. Well, it's probably because uh, you can't hear. <laughs> bay bay! <laughs> oh, God. Fucking, a fucking monkey in a cup up here. Look, I did it, now buy a fucking shirt. <laughs> My new dog, Zuzu, needs some uh, training. Rescues. By the way, re uh, the, the thing is, we've rescued every animal we have, Brian. Brian, come on over here. Be my sidekick for a second. Stand right here. We've rescued every animal we have, and they always have these back issues because they're usually like a year old, and you don't know what happened in their lives. And this last dog, Zuzu, now I know why they were in a fucking shelter. A lot of work. Anyway, uh, thanks for helping out with that. I, I don't think I could have got through that. And look at the decorations that go the extra mile. Look at these, the dolphin. You can hardly tell this came with the frame. <laughs> oh, you think I'm fucking kidding? Look at this. Number one dash. Is that you, Cam? Thank you all for coming out. Please support the Carson Comedy Club because I think we got like half the population here tonight <laughs> and the surrounding. But you came in from Reno, right? You live in Reno or? Uh, yeah, I, I, Reno and oh, oh, both. So you got like a, what, a summer storage shed in Reno? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's a lateral move. You do know that. <laughs> Alabama to Reno. Uh, Reno's, uh, you know, it's it's rough. It's a rough town, Reno, you know. And uh, I now I every time I've gone there, now I know why Johnny Cash shot a man just to watch him die. <laughs> he he should have stayed and finished the job. Um, any other questions? Why, Vegas? Why did I move to Vegas? That's a really good point. I've been to all 50 states. I've been to Guam. In fact, this is a fun fact, I bombed in Guam before Kim Jong-un can. <laughs> and I've been to 13 countries. So really, I spent half my adult life on the road. So what, why not? Actually, I performed in Vegas so many times, uh, a week at a time, that I, I added it up. I lived there for three years before I moved there. So that's a lot. I, I like the ones where they pay. 
They're all the same, man. Don't, don't. I didn't even find out your name. What is your name? Sean. Sean, are you a Boston Red Sox fan? Uh, it's, uh, yeah. I actually filmed a TV series called Comcast Comedy Spotlight. That was actually on a network. What was that, right? Yeah, it wasn't like a web series. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> we, f we filmed some stuff at Fenway Park. Have you been there? Oh, my God. I was sitting in the stands, and I, I, I was just going, this place is historic. You can just smell the history. And then I thought, I hope that's history. <laughs> Not the ghost of Ted Williams. How long is your run next to the soccer field? My run? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go about a mile and see how that goes. <laughs> I'm going to slowly build myself up. I heard a hamstring for a while. I got a hammy issue. I, yeah. Well, what I did was I decided not to go to the doctor for it, and I talked to a doctor, and I told him, I said, you know, it's 90% better now because I, you know, I waited it out and took care of it and all that, and he said, ah, that's probably a good idea because first they give you an X-ray, and then they give you a CAT scan, and then they do a, 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 a C scan or whatever, and I said, you'd be in 10 grand, and they go, ah, you should probably rest. Next question. You answer right You're absolutely right. I, uh, it was close. Oh, you are? Where do you live now? Right here. Oh, well, it's, again, I think it's nicer up here, except for the st It was fucking cold today, wasn't it? Wow, it was cold. It's funny you should ask. It was so cold, my penis hid behind my balls for warmth. <laughs> Any other questions? What do you do for a living? No, I'm actually talking to that guy over there, Tony. You're a trucker? Yeah. Well, then fuck, you, you really you move all the time, right? Long hauls? Oh, I love Home Depot. You know what I love about Home Depot is when you're trying to find something and one of the helpful employees go, that's not my aisle. <laughs> then go to your fucking aisle. <laughs> I understand. And again, this is a comedy show. Yeah, I know, bingo's in the old room. That's why I had to use that as a reference point. <laughs> Thank you, heckler helper. <laughs> yeah, you are here to help. What happened to your buddy? Where's Dave at? It's for, it's, you know what? It's for the best. I don't think he's working out with this little menage a trois. He was in the middle, and it's, it's tough. What are you, the Uber driver? Any other questions? Okay. I, I moved to Vegas because I want to get the fuck away from you. Okay? I was going to move to Carson City, then I found out you lived here. But I didn't want to say any of that. I was trying to spare your feelings, but no, you push. You push.